segment now to our new segment that's already becoming incredibly popular called the World News Now Inbox. Yep. I think we can all get the concept, right? It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. We ask you to ask us anything and we do our best to answer it on the air. We had a whole lot of great questions, so we're going to get right to it. In this week two of our now weekly segment, Kim wants to know, are you all allowed to select your stories for the night and how much leeway do you all have? Well, typically our senior producers um, get the stories going the night before, like around six or seven o'clock, try to put the show's what we call a rundown in. Yep. And by the time we get to our meeting, we have a meeting about 12.30 a.m. every morning. There's John looking very serious. Hey, Me look and at that. Crack the smile. Dorky <laughs> curlers. Nice but, curlers. But this is where we all got to get together and hash out what we have yes. in the show, um, what we want to do a little bit of different, a little differently. There's, there's Scott. Scott. He's the man. He is the man. And then there's Suzanne, who just joined the staff. Yep. At least you could see her forehead right there. Yep. But we have, we have quite a bit of input. There are certain stories of the day where you know they're just going to be in. They are really, truly the news mm -hmm. stories. They're obvious, and it's not really a committee at that point. You just know what has to be in the show. And we have a lot of uh, say in the uh, the chat stories, the, right. the, the skinnies, the mixes, we call them, stories of interest, water cooler type stories where you say, hey, did you hear about Tim Tebow? That's the stories we usually pick. Yeah, and the chat is kind of what makes this whole show kind of, it, it's what differentiates us from the other shows. I mean, we're in the middle of the night, so we have to make it somewhat entertaining. Exactly right. right. We do our best, folks. All right, we get a lot of questions about our unusual hours, including this one. Jennifer asks, how do you manage to find time to fit in family and friends with such a crazy <laughs> schedule and working night hours. It's not easy. You know, I mean, I, I'm only a guest on the show, but I did a morning show in a another time and place for 12 years yes. so this true I know these hours very well you pack a lot of living into the weekend mm -hmm. really truly and you have like happy hours at 10:30 in the morning like for real like morning shows will go out for drinks at noon and right. people think we're all crazy and but uh, that's that's how you do it five o'clock is about noon for us I think um, I went on vacation and I saw my kids for the first time in eight months <laughs> hey I know I, you I don't get to see them a whole lot and what I do I'm usually cranky or screaming at them because exactly I'm right, so, sleep so tired exactly right go get your clothes on pull your diaper up no but that, that was it was great to spend some time with them you just have to make the time that you have with them count yes absolutely right we also get quite a few questions about our clothing some about we don't have on including what boxes of briefs no, that doesn't apply to you. Uh, it doesn't apply to me. Okay. Uh, Spanx. Michelle asks, do the anchors dress for the broadcast from the waist up, or are they to dress from the nines from head to toe? Here at the ABC News Network, I dress uh -oh. very uh -oh. professionally from the bottom up. When I was in Florida in my early uh, broadcasting days, I had right. my Converse high tops on and my shorts and just had the perfect suit from the waist up. How about yourself? Um, well, look at you. Hey, there you go. That looks even better than this? I did in Florida. What I like, this, like the blue socks and the shorts. That is a classic. You need to pull your socks up a little bit taller. <laughs> Well, because we've been getting such a great response from you, we're going to be doing this every Wednesday morning. I kind of like this. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to ask us something, log on to our Facebook page and just make sure to look for the WNN Inbox logo. And post your question underneath. You can also tweet us. Just use the WNN Fans hashtag.